get through to the tour? Well, the thing is, my audience is very different. It's corporate. It's dinner. It's um, the style of music is is very different, and I feel like Ugandans are maybe are not ready for it. They're not used to it. But um, that's where I come in. I want to bring something new and different because I'm a I'm a vocalist. I'm a singer, so my direction is, is very different. But people know Rachel K. People know me. Yeah, yeah, they know me. I beg your pardon. You said your audience is so corporate. So you mean those who have made it through? The yeah. Fans are not corporate at all. The fans are definitely a mix. Um, but right now, I think my audience right now is corporate. Um, but I would love my music to to cross all ages. If you love good music, you'll love Rachel K. Okay. Yeah. When do you think it will be the ideal time for you to bring a lover to your mom? A lover to my mom? Um, not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. Sorry. Not anytime soon. I'm still focusing on me. You're I want to focus. Focusing I'm focusing on me. You know how guys are. They can be a distraction. Huh. And I don't want to be distracted. I thought <laughs> behind every successful woman there is it's a man. It's a beautiful mom, an ex-successful mom, a, successful mom, mm. a legendary mom. Mm. That's what I need behind me, not a man. Not a man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, I'm currently not sure. at the moment. Yeah. How yeah. old are you, Rachel? I'm old enough. I'm, how, old, how old do I look? Flow, first floor, second floor. Um, one of those floors, yeah, one of those floors, yeah. But I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm growing, and I just thank God every day just to get me to continue doing what I love to do and seeing amazing people like you guys and my mom. And yeah. Were you really heartbroken to the extent that you feel you don't need a man in your life? No, it's not about heartbroken. I mean, I can date right now if I wanted, you know, it's just I feel like I have I want to be in a good place, you know, with myself, with my career. And the last thing I want to do is have setbacks. And I think being in a relationship, you have to focus on the person, you know, if I'm in a relationship, I don't think I would give in 100 percent because I just want to focus on that person. But when I have my other baby, which is my music, it's kind of it's kind of hard to balance. So one day, one day soon. I'm not in any rush. Okay. Besides music, what else do you do for your living? Besides music, I work at my mom's organization called Women Network International. I'm the head of social media. And I also do influencing and digital content. Yes, I am. I have a bachelor's degree in communications. You tell us you're still waiting to have someone by your side. Yeah. After all that you've gone through, you've had a graduation, you're done with books, you're, you're now working. So what's hindering you from getting a marriage? All of that doesn't really matter, you know. It's me inside and what I know I want to be or where I want to go. If the guy is there and he comes into my life now, then it will happen. But like I said, I'm not in any rush. It's all God's plan. Okay, a lot has been happening in the music fraternity. Mm. Have you ever heard of UMA? UMA, yes, yes, the Uganda Musicians Association. Yes. Okay. How best can you describe it? Um, oh, I'm looking at the camera, sorry. Um, well, it's an organization that's mainly, it's a great platform for all musicians across Uganda um, to come get together, showcase your talent. It gives unknown musicians and upcoming musicians um, a voice. And right now we have local musicians who are running it and who are doing their best to you know, bring it up. Um, I've been away for a little bit, so I'm not too much knowledgeable about it, but I think it's a great thing. It's what Uganda really needed. And I just pray that it continues to get better and grow. Are you still enjoying it or are you part of it as it? I'm part of it, I'm part of it. My mom is part of it, so I mean, anything to help musicians and myself as an artist, of course, I'll be part of it. No, no, I don't have time. I don't think I have time. All I can do is advise and you know show up and, but no, I love the youth. So maybe something in the youth I can think about in the future. But okay, a lot of chaos has been happening in the. I don't know anything about that. I wasn't around. I was in the states, living life. <laughs> I don't know about anything about the drama. Yeah. I know the riots. No. All the beef. 
I know there's some beef, there's some, yeah, there's some negativity that's been going on, yeah, which is really sad. Um, but everything is not always going to be cotton candy and rainbows. Of course, there's going to be some rocky, but that's where we learn and that's how we grow, you know, okay. we learn from the mistakes. <laughs> okay, but who do you support among the three aspiring leaders? I, I support all of them. I can't choose. They're all great in their own way, and they all offer something special, and I, I can't choose. Do you know the three of them? Uh, the King Saha, mm -hmm. it's one of them, the Cindy is, is still in it, I think, <laughs> and the last one, I don't remember who the last one is. Who? Lord Beatem. No, I don't know who that is. Have you ever heard of his name anywhere? Because he says he's a legend. I have never heard of him. Sorry. But, I mean, I've never heard of him, but I would love to hear, from, hear about him. For you, if you're to vote. Yes. You vote Cindy. I don't know. Both of them are my friends. Oh. Both of them are my friends. And they're great people, great individuals. Um, I can't really choose. I just want the best to win. Okay, have you heard of these two songs so far, Mataya and Zakayu? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't know Matayo song? No, can you sing it for me? Can you sing it for me? You don't know that song, King Sir. No, no, I don't. It's one of his popular songs, right? Or did it just come out? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. And actually, people say it's Bebe Koli was attacking. Oh, really? Oh no. I've never heard of the song. I. I haven't heard it yet, no. And Matayo? I probably have, but I no comment. Okay, do you know Alan Hendricks? Who? Alan Hendricks. He's a musician? <laughs> He's a what? <laughs> no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Baby Cole's son. Yeah. Oh, didn't he graduate recently? Yeah. yeah. He's the one that graduated, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. That he does his music, him. but he must be great. His dad is a great musician, so mm. yeah, he's in he's in the right hands. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I just want to see people just be themselves. I feel like a lot of musicians are doing what's happening, are doing what's hitting or doing a style that's not them. Um, just to see raw and more talent, people just to be their true artistry. Um, I'm looking for originality and I feel like a lot of Ugandan musicians kind of lack that. Um, so more of that, I think. Okay, last, are you the one hindering your mom from getting someone by her side? Like a man? Yeah, like a man. No, she's very busy as well. She might have somebody. Did you ask her? You should ask her. <laughs> ask her. I mean, we are very both very independent women. We can do with a man. We can do without a man. We can support ourselves with or without a man. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if a man comes around, you know, we're not going to say no, but he has to be a good man. He has to be a working man. He has to be a supporting man. He has to be a loving man. He has to be a truthful man. He has to be, yeah, it's a long list. Yeah, of course. Who hasn't? Do you have kids? No, I don't. I don't have kids. One day soon, hopefully. Yeah. Don't you miss something? Don't you miss something? No, I'm very happy. Okay. <laughs> in Uganda, because you people are Uganda. Yeah, so yeah. In Uganda, there's this widely split, mm. but false belief. Let me call it, is it called a myth? Okay. Oh, yeah. No. It's a myth. Mm. But when, when ladies of age, of your age actually, mm. don't have men, they are like cursed. Definitely not cursed. You should see my DMs. I get a lot of messages. I just say no. I just don't have time. But if the right man comes along, even if today, even if it's this camera man, if this camera man is the my man, I won't say no. As long as you treat me good. So people, you get you get many messages. Too many. You just turn them down. Yeah. 
<laughs> to all who? I see you guys in my Instagram, and my social media, but no, seriously, um, thank you for loving me and for checking up on me. <laughs> and I'll see you on social media. I'm very busy. Um, I, I, I'm thankful for all the gifts and all the things you've sent me, but I'm just not ready for a relationship. Okay. Yeah.